So you want a corgi, huh? But owning a corgi may not be everything you've ever dreamed of. So here are 10 reasons why you shouldn't get a corgi. Number one, if you're looking for a small dog, corgis are not for you. Corgis are actually considered medium-sized dogs. They're actually pretty heavy dogs, and their bodies are pretty dense. Oh, Gatsby, you're so heavy. Pembroke Welsh corgis tend to get around 25 to 35 pounds. That's a lot of weight crunched into this tiny, dense body here. If you want a dog that you can just carry around like in your bag, corgis are not that kind of dog. Gatsby, you're such a long dog. Let's measure you. As an adult, their body is a little too long to be able to fit under the passenger seat in an airplane. 24 inches. Next up is shedding. As you guys may know, corgi shed a ton. If you are not okay with shedding, probably not okay to get a corgi. You'll definitely need to be on top of your cleaning game if you get a corgi. I have a robot vacuum that vacuums the house. Look how much fur he sheds in one day. Oh my gosh. This is how much fur he sheds every single day. Corgis are also considered very loud and vocal dogs. This can be a very big problem if you live in an apartment complex. Of course it depends on the dog, but I know that corgis as a breed tend to bark a lot. And some of them bark at pretty much anything. If you don't have the time to take your dog out to exercise, I would highly suggest against getting a corgi. Corgis are working dogs. They are bred as herding dogs, and they are known on the farm to run and run and run. They are known as high energy dogs. If you're looking for a low maintenance dog, Corgi is not the type of breed that you should get. Corgis require a lot of attention and mental stimulation. They are very smart dogs and since they're working dogs, they like to be given a task to do. If you don't give them something to do, they will make their own fun, which often involves chewing up something that you like. If you're looking for a more independent pet, Corgis may not be the way to go. Corgis are also very stubborn. They are very smart dogs and can totally outwit you. If you don't have time to train your dog, they can quickly learn to become the boss and take over your house. And this is why I would say they do require a lot of training. So? Now in terms of physical characteristics, one of them is that since their legs are so short, they can become a tripping hazard. Even the queen stopped getting corgis for this specific reason. Additionally, if you live in a place where it rains often, you will constantly be washing the corgi's belly area. Due to the fact that they are so low to the ground and their legs are super short, they basically scoop whatever's on the ground into their fur. This belly gets so dirty in the rain. Also as a breed, corgis tend to have many genetic problems. One of them is hip dysplasia or DM. Along with many dwarf breeds, they also can get arthritis very easily. Also, following that up, if you live in a house with a lot of stairs, corgis may not be a very good choice for that. You're making it. Good dog. Oh, don't fall. I'm the king. I never take the stairs. I get carried down. Finally, the last reason why you shouldn't get a corgi, they're incredibly expensive. Corgis are very high in demand, and based off of the comments that were in my previous video about getting a corgi, they cost people a lot of money, way more than I paid for Gatsby. Corgis are now going for around $2,000 to $3,000. And those are the top 10 reasons why you shouldn't get a corgi. In the comments below, let me know if you wanna see a video on the top 10 reasons why you should get a corgi. I think those far outweigh why you shouldn't get one. But that's our video. If you know someone who is thinking about getting a corgi, make sure to share this video with them. Other than that, we'll get back to the vlog soon. Our channel is mainly a vlogging channel, but this is something extra. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan.